Well, it tells us a lot, and yet gender and sexuality are contentious and very confusing topics these days. But the good news is that our God isn't surprised by that. And we don't have to fret and we don't have to fight because we do have in God's word a divine compass to orient us regardless of our difficulties encountered in this current cultural context. So the good news is that a biblical perspective on sexuality and gender leads to personal and relational flourishing because it's grounded in God's original creation design for mankind. So scripture reveals that male and female differences are good and beautiful and sacred and complementary, and that men and women are made for each other and that all of this is grounded in the natural order created and established by God from the beginning. So biologically, yes, we are binary male and female, man and woman, because gender is intended to be inextricably intertwined with our biological sex. Marriage is for one man and one woman, and it's God's only plan to fill this planet with people who bear His image and complete His mission. And yet it's obvious that all is not the way it's supposed to be in our world. We live in a very broken down house with broken people, and of course this includes every one of us. We find ourselves in a world that is attempting to disconnect biology and gender and redefine love and marriage. But quite simply, this will not work. It will not lead to human flourishing. But this is the world that we are called to be in, but not of, speaking the truth with moral clarity and courage, but ever so gently and in love. We do this because we all know what it means to be morally disoriented and sexually broken. Jesus himself points the way, just as he did with the woman at the well, ignoring polarizing cultural barriers, engaging her in a personal conversation, and offering her not just any kind of water, but living water that forever flows, something so much better than what she thought she needed. So we do have in our Lord Jesus the way, a style if you will, that's gracious, motivated by mercy and compassion, and equally truthful, morally clear, and courageous. So the remedy for this world, and for you and I as well, of course, is the same. The good news of God in Christ, where whosoever will can find forgiveness and cleansing and healing, and starts with his reception and culminates someday in the return of our King, when true north is finally obvious and irresistible.